My first million, take one. Hey everyone, this is Will Hernandez, and this is how I spent and saved my first million. I started playing football my freshman year of high school. First time I've ever touched a football, first time I've ever stepped on a football field. I started growing through some growth spurts, and let's just say it was probably this way as well. Right away, my position was offensive line, you know? Big guy, offensive line. I've dedicated everything I've ever had to sports, but I did have one job in college. I was a bouncer at a nightclub downtown in El Paso, Texas. I made a good, honest $10 an hour, which at the time was a lot for me. During the college times, it was a little hard to uh, you know go out and just spend money. I was a big dollar menu guy. I'd wear my college clothes basically 24 seven. I was using UTEP all the time. As a kid, I lived in a rough neighborhood and the only debt I can actually remember having, I was blessed enough to have a full ride scholarship so I didn't have any student loans or anything like that. But I did have a debt with the lady that used to live across the street from me. She sold tacos out of her garage. She had her own little business there. I love those tacos. I would go across the street almost every day. My mom would give me money and I'd go eat. And it got to a point where I was going so much that my mom was like, forget it. I'm not giving you any more money. I still wanted to eat, I was hungry. And I went over and you know, I, I, I told her, I'm like, hey, I don't have any money, but can, can we get a tab going or something? And she said, yeah, go ahead, order whatever you want and you know, we'll keep track. I said, okay. That tab piled up, piled up. You know, I forgot about it, went off to college. After my first season, I came back and uh, I was able to repair that, that taco debt I had. She never told me anything about it. She never chased after, after her money, but I ended up paying uh, double what I owed. That was my thank you to her. Just a little bit of interest. The bill actually ended up being um, about like, I would say $600. She lost count after a while. She just, she just, she was just feeding me at this point. She loved, she liked me. Nothing's ever even came close to, to, you know, the feeling of getting drafted. It's something you've been chasing and chasing after for so long. And then you, you realize that it's finally within your reaching. You know, it was a great feeling. And when I hired an agent, as much as I wanted to get educated on the, on the process, I kind of let him do his thing. I wanted just to focus 100% on football. They direct deposited it. And I was a guy, you know, all throughout college that constantly would be checking my account. You know, I gotta make sure I got enough before I buy this. I gotta make sure I have enough in my account before I buy that. You know, it was just another one of those times I checked my account, woke up, and boom. I seen maybe one comma throughout my whole college career. And you know, I wake up and now, now I got two in there. I, I remember I jumped out of my bed and I was, I was excited. As much as it, it hurt, to see how much money was gonna go to taxes. I was just so happy to have money for once. Yeah, it stings a little bit, but it's okay. Saving money was very important to me from the very beginning. My current strategy right now is one, being diversified, and two, saving 70% or even more. I did buy a few things that, you know, probably weren't necessary, but at the same time, very necessary. It is a contact sport, high risk. You could be playing today and not tomorrow. It's kind of hard to think about that when you first get money and when you first start playing because you know you feel like you're invincible and you want to play and injury is one of the last things that's on your mind all your focus as a player is getting better and, and and doing good and performing and earning your spot when those thoughts do creep into my mind it definitely humbles me a little bit and gets me to spend a little bit less this can end all tomorrow i want to try to gather up what i can now and definitely save and invest it's very important to save your money but this is how I spent my first million. So the very first thing I bought, and this is something I've always wanted to buy um, for my family, it was a, was a house for them. It was our family home. I bought the house in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, you know, I grew up there. This is when my parents first came. You know, we settled there. All our family's here now. So I wanted to, you know, keep, keep everybody together. And, you know, I just, I got in Las Vegas, Nevada. If I ended up saying how much the house was right now, this interview would probably be over right now. We didn't even live in a house when a uh, part of my life growing up. We were living in this shed. The roof was literally about five foot seven high. I had to walk around the house like this. So this was very, very important to me, especially seeing my mom, my sister, uh, my dad, you know, kind of living in these conditions. I, I've always, you know, thought they deserved the world. So um, this was something as soon as I was able to do for them, I did. I always wanted a bidet, you know? The, the bidets are like these these toilets that like require no toilet paper. 
I tried one for the very first time at a casino here in Las Vegas, and I was like, hell yeah, like I, I want one of these. You know, no toilet paper. Think about think about the investments. You know, all that toilet paper money going right towards the investments. That was the very first thing I got, and uh, you know, I don't regret it at all, and um, I'm, I'm happy with it. The toilet was around four thousand five hundred dollars, but very worth the investment. Again, not an expense; it's an investment. Toilet. Forty-five hundred. Well spent. I'm a big dude. I'm not that fast. I want to be able to go fast. So I bought a, I bought a GTR R35. I would say that was my next biggest purchase. The GTR came out to one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. The thing about the GTR, very fast, but also very silent. Kind of sounds like a vacuum when you first get it. So what I did right away was I threw in a cat back exhaust, um, you know, make it a little bit louder. I bought the car originally white and I wrapped it, blacked it out, um, you know, satin black with the black gloss details. So GTR 115,000, upgrades around $10,000. Car 115,000. Yes, I got my dad a truck only because, you know, he's been driving his work truck pretty much his whole life. He's never had a car to himself. You know, I got him a big Chevy Silverado 2018 Black Widow Edition uh, with the six inch lift, big 35 inch tires, awesome truck. And that one was granted me about $68,000. Truck for Pops, $68,000. As much as I love cars, and I'm a big car guy, as soon as you buy that car and you push the star button, that's as much as going out your pocket just for pushing that star button. I'm very into superheroes, I'm comic books. One day, you know, I was just strolling by New York City, saw a comic book store, went in there, and there just happened to be a life-size, six foot five Batman action figure. I was like, wow, that would look awesome in my living room. You know, I went, picked it out, Grabbed it, three grand, and took it back to my place and you know, put it right up in my living room. One more random item that, that I got was the Infinity Gauntlet. I actually have it right here. I take this thing everywhere with me. I saw it, I was all like, wow, this is awesome. It's actually real steel. You know, it, got, it has a big rubber glove in there, so you can actually put your hand in there and actually move these things around. Infinity Gauntlet ran me up a grand, but it was uh, another one very well spent and it looks very nice in my kitchen. I got the standard, you know, big couch, the big nice TV. I have an Xbox, a PS4, and a 70 inch TV. I also have a massage chair where you can you know, just get in there and uh, it gives you a good massage. 20,000 living room setup. The very last car that I bought was um, you know, a 5.0 Mustang convertible for my little sister. And you know, I, the reason I bought this one for her is one, she deserves it. She's gone straight A since she was a first grader. She's in college now, working to be a, a, a doctor. So, you know, I wanted to give her something, you know, as, as a gift. She's always been content with whatever it is that she drives. She's always, she never asked for anything. My parents have never had to worry about getting her the top name brands, um, clothes, cars, or anything like that. She's always been happy with what she has. And so this is this was the motivation for me even more to get her something nice. The Mustang ran me forty-five thousand dollars. Mustang forty-five thousand. So I've never been too much into fashion and expensive clothes and really expensive jewelry. You know, I, I like I said, I shop at Burlington. You know, I, I rock Jack Daniel T-shirts and Selena T-shirts at least once a week. I still wear my college gear sometimes. Coming into the NFL, of course, you know, there's a, a certain standard. There's a lot of events, there's a lot of uh, parties, a lot of NFL get-togethers, and that, that you have to be well-dressed and presentable. I did have to buy certain, you know, standard clothes. I would say I spent around 
$20,000 in suits, uh, you know, for game day, um, and, and, and nice jeans and shirts and, you know, things that I, I can wear to these, you know, events and conventions and NFL parties. Suits and clothes, 20000 I went on my first real vacation with my family to Hawaii. This was a place that I've, ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to go to. You know, when I finally got the chance, I took my family out there. It was a great time. You know, I got to do cool things like, you know, um, swim with the dolphins, you know, get to explore the island, go hiking, drink water straight out of a coconut. Um, you know, the cool things like that. And, uh, you know, this is this was uh, my very first vacation and definitely one I won't ever forget. As much fun as we had, and this was a family vacation and everything, it was a little costly. Flights and hotel, I would say around four or $5,000. Now you got all the activities that we did on the island, probably another three grand, four grand. Mom and sister wanted to buy this and that. And, you know, I would say around total value of the trip around $10,000 to $12,000. Trip to Hawaii, $12,000. So as far as expensive meals, I had recently just gotten into sushi and you know, I kept hearing from the guys on the team that Nobu was the spot to go to in New York City. So you know, I went down there, took my family with me and I've never been to this place before. And I was very, very hungry when we got there that night. I get there, I'm looking through the menu, I'm just ordering random things off the menu and not even looking at the prices. I know, I know big baller. All of a sudden I have like 10, 12 plates in front of me. And you know, the thing about Nobu, it's quality, not quantity. Very little pieces of fish here and there. And you know, I eat a lot. I'm surprised at how good this stuff is. It's a really good place. But the biggest surprise of all is when I get the bill at the end. Now it's just like, damn, like what did I just do? But you know what? Um, again, let's just see it as an investment. Uh, very good food and uh, definitely would go back. Investment for the memory. The bill was, for the four of us, around $3,000. Dinner at Nobu, $3,000. Everybody knows about the rookie dinner. Eli Manny actually, he, he invited us all to this really high-end restaurant. So it was all the offensive linemen and the quarterbacks. So there was around like 20 of us. Everybody starts ordering, everybody's eating. I had a great time. And you know, all of a sudden it's, it's, it's bill time and you know, Eli Manning is the one that invited us, so you know, we're all like, I thought I was just getting invited. The waitress comes and puts the check in front of me. Everybody just starts going, ooh, mm. people are laughing, you know. I'm freaking out because I see, you know, a bunch of food, steaks, um, wine balls everywhere. I haven't even gotten paid by the NFL yet. The only money I had was a stipend that I've gotten from my, from my agency, so I'm, I'm freaking out. You know, I see the bill. $27,000. My heart just starts pumping and pumping. All of a sudden, I just look up at Eli, and he tells me, you know, thanks for dinner, Will. And everybody just starts saying, thanks for dinner, Will. I'm, I'm trying to see how it, how it even came out to 27,000, you know? And I just see, you know, private room, 8,000, wine, 4,000. And it looks legit, and I'm like, wow, okay. So I take my credit card out, and I had just enough to cover the bill in my bank account, but that was all the money I had. You know, I didn't want to be that guy and, and not pay and, and say, I'm not, do you know, I just threw my card in there. I was ready, to, I, was, I was just ready to get it over with. That's when Eli comes up and, has, and just starts laughing and says, hey man, just messing with you, Will. So like, we already took care of it. It's all good. Everybody starts laughing and, and that was my, pretty much my first dinner with Eli Manning and my welcome to being a rookie. When I was 18 years old, I, I got this half sleeve going. During this off season, I added this whole forearm and made it a 3-4 sleeve. What it is is, you know, Aztec and Mayan um, art. This is my roots, this is where I came from. Also, it's it's motivating for me, you know, these guys were warriors, these guys were survivors, these guys were, were go out and, and, and hunt and, and, you know, and provide and, and survive. It had a lot of meaning to me. The stuff I just did was around 3,000. 3,000 tattoos. This is roughly 300,000 right here. And with mom and dad's house, that definitely puts me at a million. 
All right, well, this is how I spent my first million. You know, having it right in front of you definitely makes you think twice about spending it. Are you happy with how you spent it so far? Yes, no regrets. Everything that I've ever done is, you know, I try to think about it, you know, I did it, I learned from it, that's it. I don't regret things, I just learn from them. So there's one more thing that I did with my money. I donated some money to charity, and this was to the El Paso Youth Foundation and the El Paso Community Foundation. I donated this money because there was an awful, awful tragedy that happened. You know, there was a shooting in, in the Walmart in El Paso, Texas. A lot of people lost their lives, a lot of families were affected. And so this was something that hit home for me because I basically really grew up in that city. I was there for five years. Um, the El Paso community was very good to me during my time there. So I donated some money to that charity to help fund the youth and, and kids being able to take that next step to college and get an education. All right, guys, well, this is how I spent and saved my first million. See you guys at a Giants game next year.